tutorial shows you how to use Cloudburst when the reader is directly connected to your PC. The RFID reader has DHCP client enabled by default. Make sure your local area connection adapter is set to obtain an IP address automatically. Connect the RFID reader to your PC with the Ethernet cable. Plug in the power supply adapter into the RFID reader and wait until the power LED and status LED are both solid green. Connect the antenna to the ANT1 port on the RFID reader and put an RFID tag on the antenna. If the RFID reader comes with Cloudburst already installed, jump to step 3, otherwise you can download it from our website. Click on the link below to download Cloudburst and unzip the downloaded file. Type the automatically assigned IP address of the reader in the web browser's address bar and press Enter. Log in with the default credentials. Remember that if you have a GX1 or GX2 reader, you must select your region. Click the Browse button in the Reader Upgrade section. Select the UPG file in the unzipped folder of the previously downloaded file and click Open. Click on the Upgrade button. The reader uploads Cloudburst and then commits the software image. The process takes about 30 seconds. When the last operation status turns to Waiting for Manual Reboot, click on the Reboot button in the Reader Reboot section. The installation and reboot process takes about 60 seconds. If the software is successfully installed, the application SW version shows the Cloudburst version number. Now we are ready to open the Cloudburst graphical user interface. Type HTTPS followed by the automatically assigned IP address of the reader in the address bar and press Enter. Your browser may show a warning for security risk. It is totally safe to proceed and add a security exception. The default password is password and click the login button. This is the Cloudburst management interface. Click on the live read button on the right side of the page. And then click on the start button. Congratulations, you are reading your first tag. Now you can play with Cloudburst. For further details, click the help button.